We just talked about scientific notation and how to write large numbers using exponents or scientific notation. Um, we're going to take a look at small numbers. So we're talking about things that are very small decimals. How can I write those using scientific notation? So our question here says write the following numbers in scientific notation. And I have the number 0 0.0006. So when we were doing the large numbers, we kind of broke this down as a multiplication question. But since this is a decimal and quite a small number, instead of using multiplication, I'm going to actually try to do this with division. So I'm going to say that 0 0.0006 is the same thing as 0 0.006 divided by 10. And I'm going to check on my calculator that that's right. So 0 0.006 divided by 10 does give me 0 0.0006. So I'm getting the number that I want. I could go a little further and say this is the same as 0 0.06 divided by 100. So I'm just making up some different questions that are going to give me that answer back again. And it also works out to be 0 0.0006. Uh, that would also be the same as 0 0.6 divided by 1,000, so I'm just going to double check, so 0 0.6 divided by 1,000, yep, and then this would be the same as 6 divided by 10,000, so if I check that, 6 divided by 10,000. So this is just an investigation to help us figure out scientific notation, what it looks like and how to make it work for us. I am not going to expect you to kind of generate some questions. We're just doing this together. So 6 divided by 10,000. 10,000, when I'm dividing by it, I'm just going to write this in a slightly different way. This is the same as 6 times 1 over 10,000. And 10,000 is 10 to the power of 4. So this is 6 times 1 over 10 to the power of 4. How do I know that's 10 to the power of 4? If you count the zeros, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and that's how powers of 10 work. Now, I have a fraction with an exponent, and we did learn that negative exponents make fractions. So this is actually the same thing as 6 times 10 to the power of not positive 4, but negative 4. So in scientific notation, 0 0.0006 is the same as 6 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So we're going to try, same idea, but we have another question here. Um, so we're going to try this one. So I have 0 0.001234. So I'm going to try to generate some questions that will equal the same thing. This would be 0 0.01234 divided by 10. If you don't believe me, you can check it on your calculator. Um, this would also be the same as 0 0.1234 divided by 100. Oops, too many zeros. Sorry about that. Or 1.234 divided by 1,000. Now I'm going to stop there because scientific notation, we want one number in front of the decimal point that's not a zero. Um, so I'm happy with that. Now 1,000, that would be the same as multiplying by 1 over 1,000. And 1 over 1,000, 1,000 has three zeros. Sorry about that. Uh, so that's going to be 1 over 10 to the power of 3. And then a negative exponent makes a fraction. So this is the same as 1.234 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And that's what that would look like in scientific notation. So when we were doing large numbers, the exponents that we had were positive. But when you have small numbers, um, because we're dividing, that's what's making these numbers really tiny. We have negative exponents because a negative exponent makes a fraction, right? which means we're going to be dividing, which is what makes the numbers so small. 
So uh, if I just take a look at the original question and my final answers, um, when I had 0 0.006, we moved the decimal place one, two, three, four spots over. So you'll notice here our exponent was a four. It was a negative four because the number was getting smaller, but it's still a four. And then here we moved the decimal one, two, three spots to put it in between the one and the two, and you'll notice that the exponent that we had was also a three. So when you're making a number, in scientific notation, you still move the decimal place so that it is behind the first non-zero digit, and then you count how many times it took us to move it there. And because these are small numbers, right, we get those numbers by doing division, which means our exponent needs to be a negative and not a positive. So we will take a look at a couple of examples in our next video.